trying to bring, point, bring home this point. Security is no longer just protecting the data center or encrypting information so that between the phone and the data center, people in the middle can't read it. Well, there is no one in the middle anymore. You are the data center. You collectively and all of your smartphones and mobile devices hold all of the data because data does not materialize from thin air. We create it. You create it. And the people who know this, the Chinese, the, the Eastern Europeans, are making use of this as we speak. I defy any of you to look at your phones and find a, find a single app that doesn't ask for permissions it does not need. And most of them ask for everything, including making phone calls without your knowledge at any time of day or night. And they'll have a little note saying, may cost you money. Try it. Check it out. Future 10 Central. Security is no longer involved with, with preventing someone in the middle from intercepting your communication and reading it or watching it or listening to it. No. People are watching you as you are on the phone. What you see on your screen, I can see on my screen. It is a trivial thing. If you have teenagers between the ages of 14 and 16, I promise any one of them could build an app to do this very thing. We do not know this because we, we don't care to look into it. Imagine a world without your smartphone. It's pretty horrifying, isn't it? We go back to the Stone Ages. And I'm, I'm not advocating we get rid of these devices. What I am advocating is please wake up and see where the threat really is. It is in your hands. It is in your pocket. It is sitting on your table with the screen turned on right now, which someone could be looking at, trivially looking at. It takes nothing to do so. The software built into these devices did not anticipate that ultimately we would all have one. 64 gigabytes of memory, five times as much as a middle road Dell desktop computer. The processor runs twice as fast, and an infinite number of apps can run on this. This is what has happened. Our computers are no longer back home in the office. They are in our hands, all of our hands collectively. And if someone were smart enough to write software that, let's say, 100 million people downloaded, like any average game app, go on Google and look at the stats and, and you'll see, 100 million people, and that piece of software was collecting information and sending it to a large mainframe in Moscow, then who needs to get into your corporate data center? I don't. They don't. They have all the information in their hands. Now, you say that's an almost impossible task. It is not. It is a data collection and processing task. And I promise you now that, that people have thought of this years ago and that as we speak, pro these, these, these applications are being propagated and they are on our phones and we have no privacy. We are told by the corporations in power and our government that if we have nothing to hide, then why should we care? Now, I'd like to ask a simple question. Is there anyone in this room who would willingly take out their wallet, hand it to a stranger in this room, and let the stranger go through it and write down everything, your social security card numbers, your, your everything, maybe some notes from your girlfriends or your, your, your loved ones? Is there anyone who would do that? I want to see a hand. Yet we willingly download an app and give it permission to do that and more. Because whatever is in our wallet eventually goes through this phone. You ordered something on Amazon, all of your credit card information, your address, your name. Sometimes you need a social security number. That goes in. You log into your bank. They now have your bank account number. 